Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today um, I'm going to be doing another episode um, of my Buying a Boat series um, and today we are going to be talking about electrics, um, but let's go! So when you're looking for a boat, the first thing you will often look at um, is the layout or how it looks um, or something like that. But one of the most important things is before buying a boat is the electrics. Um, if you want to live in a marina, then it's probably not hard to find a marina boat for sale. Um, because there has to be specific electrics for a marina so it has to have a hookup um you don't need that that you don't really need powerful a powerful inverter or batteries i'll explain what that is later in the video um but you don't really need power for anything you just need a hookup line um and you can just it'll be ready to go um but if you're looking to continuously cruise like we are uh you need to look for either a boat that you'll just replace everything um which we did or try and find a boat that has already the equipment that you want in it which can be quite hard so when we first bought our boat pendle um it had it was a marina boat so it had no powerful it didn't really have powerful batteries or inverter or anything like that before i continue i'll quickly just um over just go over really simply what an inverter is and batteries and all that sort of thing um, I have done deeper explanations a little bit um, in my other videos, so if you want more of that, that'll be in my channel. So basically a boat runs off 12 volts, um, that will generally come with any boat you have. Um, and we got, so the equipment you can have is like, a, we have a fridge 12 volt fridge freezer, it will limit you, you can't really very easily anyway get any household items with 12 volt. Um, like easily um, fridges are quite easy to get in 12 volt but if you want like a microwave or something like that then you will need 240 so if you want to run um, more household items or not like a 12 volt item then you will need 240 um, for, for 240 you need an inverter and it all depends on how much 240 you're going to use so if you're just going to charge like your phone or something like that then you can just have a small inverter um but if you do want more things which i don't 100 percent recommend like a microwave or a kettle which would take a lot of energy then you would need a bigger inverter and it probably would run down your batteries and everything like that very quickly uh so i don't 100 percent recommend if you use a microwave we had to sadly give up ours um but but we have kind of a not a huge but just a medium sized inverter because we we need to chart we need we knew we needed to charge things um we run a few things as well um so we knew we needed that so the thing that uses a lot of electricity of 240 um is microwaves kettles hair dryers hair straighteners um like dishwashers or washing machines although all those things like your general household items will take a lot of electricity and if you are going to use those you probably will have to if you desperately need those things you probably would have to maybe stay in a marina or something or like go in and out of your marina and just not use your, use your appliances when you're outside um because those things do take a lot of energy and will just drain your batteries very quickly um and also with a washing machine your water will go very quickly as well so now we're moving on to the batteries the batteries can be quite important um so there's your lead acid lead carbon batteries and what we have and probably the most expensive um is lithium batteries um they are very expensive we have three of them hopefully maybe in a few years they might go down a little bit more so more boaters can get them they are very good batteries you just do want to keep in mind that lithium batteries are very expensive but i think there are some cheaper options that are still a maybe a bit of a downgrade but not as but not as expensive um so you probably can do your own research on that but those are the three main boater batteries um that boaters use so when you're looking around for a boat you might not know how good the inverter is or the batteries are and the batteries do need to be kept um, quite in good condition for them to work properly um so if they haven't really been looked after by the past owner 
then you probably will want to replace them for them to work properly and not break anything but if you're continuously cruising um you will have to keep an eye on it uh so for example kind of summer spring and autumn they're not too bad you can probably generally um get like the energy from the sun and from your solars um but in winter time can be quite hard uh in winter time we have to either put our engine on or our generator on also again uh, i do very really recommend you look into a generator if you are going to be continuously cruising because it is a very handy thing to have if maybe your engine like you want to maybe save the diesel or something like that um so definitely look into that if you're interested um but definitely there is a big difference and you do want to if you're continuously cruising to keep an eye on your solos so your batteries don't go too low so when you're looking for a boat just keep in mind all the basics like will the batteries be good enough will i need to replace this how old the boat how good in condition it is um and take advice uh there's a lot of facebook pages with um like for boaters uh so if you look if you want more advice i'd recommend maybe you join one of those because they're really nice on there and they will help you so if you live in a marina then you'll have constant energy you won't need to worry about um solar or anything like that so this is just a really quick overview of what you'll roughly want um for buying a boat and keep an eye out for obviously there are a lot more in detailed videos um like other narrow youtubers have done them um so if you want more details of what specific batteries they recommend or toilets or layout or something like that there'll be a bunch more videos on my channel and other narrow channels um, but yeah, hopefully this video, don't forget to give it a like, a subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video, and comment on my social medias, my Patreon, and my Gmail, thenabrookgirl at gmail.com if you have any suggestions for me, and I also do have a canal post address if you would like to send me your letters. Um, but yeah, see you later, bye!